subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us. We are growing one big family. Thanks to all of you. And I am so grateful and humble by your beautiful comments and your uplifting messages. Thank you so much. Okay. So we're going to just touch a few uh, things. Um, so if the video is too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also, you can turn on your CC closed caption um, and you can read whatever stitch I call out down here. Take notes, pause the video and you take it from there. It makes it more easier for people that have a hard time to follow YouTube. I also would like to mention that I do have a crochet group on Facebook. It's a private group. I will leave the links below if you want to be part of my group. Uh, we're, you know, a bunch of beautiful ladies. You're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. There's a lot of scammers going on to the crochet groups right now, and especially with the links that says bit or cut. Don't open those links up. Those are scammers that go through your computer, through your phone, and steal every identity possible from you. So be very careful on that. Um, I also would like to mention, if you'd like to donate to help out the women in need for Thread, please do so. Below the video, there's a little bag with a dollar sign. You can donate there, whatever amount you'd like. Also, in the description box, there's my PayPal account. You can don donate there, whatever amount you'd like. Or, if you have extra Thread and extra yarn, you can contact me through Instagram message, email me. You can... Uh, contact me through uh, the Facebook group. I also have a Facebook page and uh, TikTok. So there's so many ways you can get a hold of me if you'd like to send out the thread or the yarn to these women that are desperately need in need of it. I will send you their name and their address. You're more than welcome to do that. And we're grateful and humble by it. Thank you so much. So most of the time I use a 3.5 hook, small one to tuck in loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. And 99.9% .9 of the time I use four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. It's equivalent the same thing as Aunt Lydia number three cotton thread. Okay, just a little tiny, a little bit small, uh, thinner, but not by much. So we're going to get started. I want to thank every single one of you again. I also would like to mention at the beginning of my videos when I first started two years ago, I did not know how to call the stitch names in English. So it, the first couple of dozen of videos, they're not well recorded. First, the app was terrible. So it's half screens, horrible. And because I did not know the name, um, I would just, you know, explain it my own way that I knew how. And I apologize for that. But if you go through some of those videos and you are creating those pieces, because there's some of you that have been texting me on it and questioning me, uh, please feel free to ask any questions. I am here to help you. Some of them I have recreated, of course, with the proper codes for the stitch calling. Some of them I still have to create. I just haven't had any time for it. But don't hesitate. Question me and I will answer you ASAP. We're going to get started. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please do so and hit that bell notification for new uploads to be notified of the new videos that I uh, bring out every week. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing the decrease until we had only one. Okay. So I'm coming back with my purple. Now, if you wanted to leave it only in one color, then you had to stop here where the groups of five are exactly as we started at the beginning. I'm coming in with the purple. We're going to do the exactly same thing as we did before. So we're going to do the five Double crochets, uh, five chains, sorry. Oh, what am I thinking? So, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip two space and come into the third. Two chain, skip two space, come into the third. To chain and the last one we don't close in so 
So we're going to do an incomplete. We're coming in and we're going to do the half double crochet. So take out two and take out the rest. Chain two. Again, we're coming in with half double crochet. Take out once, take out twice. Turn around and we're going to do the 10 double crochets. So this is no different than what we've been doing. Okay. So then we're going to do the 10. We're going to turn around and I'll meet you here again. So I'm at the edge again. So I have the incomplete. We're going to do again the half double crochet right on the edge here. Take out once, take out everything to the chain and I'm coming in my third and doing a double crochet sideways, right? And then proceed to complete the three rows of the 10 double crochets. Now next row we are going to do the little blocks. So we're going to repeat everything again, right? Again, we're going to do the little blocks. When we get here, we're going to do the incomplete, leave two on the hook, half double crochet here, take out once, take out twice, chain two, half double crochet here, and take out once, take out twice. Come back, work your double crochets, go back up, and complete. Okay, or actually it's square and then uh, 10 double crochets, 10 double crochets. So when we take out the half, you have to already go up, I should say. So half double crochet, chain two, and then do your double crochet sideways. And then you have to come back and do your 10 double crochet so we can continue on the blockage again, exactly like we did here. Okay, so I'm going to continue mine, and if you need to rewind, then you can go all the way to the beginning here, and you can follow through because I pretty much did a tutorial on all of them, okay? Or even on the white, you can follow through with the white one. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Now, coming to the end, we're going to do exactly the same thing as we have on here, the five groups, because we need to close off the pattern as we started. So pretty much when we get to the end, right, like we did here. So when we get to the end, we have to do the five groups again. But I'll, I'll meet you there when I'm at the end. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished doing my, my last one. And now we go back into the squares and I'm going to do, whoops, almost knocked my camera, the five groups again, exactly like we did here at the beginning. And this is how we're going to close this pattern out. Okay, so we're going to continue to do the 10 double crochets, create the groups. So five groups, and then I'll come back to you at the end of it. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much completed the five groups exactly as we have at the beginning. Right? One, two, three, four, and five, because then we decrease the five groups. Now we're going to work around the pattern. I'm going to do one chain 
and I'm going to come inside of the space here and I'm going to create a single and two more. So I have three singles. On my way back, I'm going to create two more singles inside of the space. Okay, so I'm coming into the next space and creating two singles. Next space, two singles. This whole row all the way around will be like this. The only difference is we'll have five singles on the four corners. Okay. So, very simple. So I'm going to do all my, all around my pattern. And when I get to the corners, I'm going to do five singles here. Okay, so do yours all the way around. Don't forget the four corners. We'll have five singles and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I came back just to make sure you understood. So I'm at my second corner. So I've done my first single, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I'm going to do um, one single on top of the double crochet, one inside. One single, one inside. One on top of the double crochet. You will be too much. Okay, so I won't do on top of the double crochet. Okay, so we have the single. I'm coming in single. And we'll do the same thing on the other on the other side, the other edge. Sometimes I have to, you know, work with the pattern, not against it, right? Well, not sometimes, we have to do it all the time. So in here, the space of two chain, of course, the same thing. We do two uh, singles and then one per space. Coming into the chain, two singles, and we continue on, okay? So when you get to the corner, then you know you have to do the five singles inside of the, stitch, the double crochet there, okay? And the other side, the other edge, this edge here, so we'll have to do exactly the same thing. Okay, you guys, so pretty much reached the end. I'm coming in and I'm going to do the two more singles. Remember, we started with three, so we need five in here. And then I'm going to close up with a slip stitch. Okay, I'm going up one chain. I'm coming back in the same space with a single. I'm going to grab back loops only. And we're going to do singles all the way around. Grabbing back loops only. Okay. Like that. So nothing changes. It's pretty much just singles all the way around. Grabbing back loops. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've reached the end and I've closed in with a slip stitch on my single. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with a slip stitch. One, two, three. And I'm going to, hold on a minute, three will do a single on the third one, okay? So I did, I closed with a slip stitch and I walked two and this one, the third one we do is single. 
And we're going to do one, two, three. And I'm grabbing all loops, not just back loop. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten singles, okay? Two, three, four, and this would be my fifth one. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. I'm coming in my fifth with a single and doing ten singles again. I'm going to repeat this all the way to the edge, and when we get to the edge, I'll come back with you because we want to make sure we get this loop on the corners, okay? So we might have to do adjustments. Okay, so I'm at the corner, and thankfully, I only jumped one single, so I can have on the straight line here of the single here, or should I say of this row here, and we have the first single here from the loop. So I pretty much stopped right at the first single of the corner, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Now, one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, which that will be right on top of the single from the corner. And it gives me right on top of this double crochet there, as you can see. Okay, so we get a pretty good edge here, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to adjust it on our corners to fit the singles until the first single. Do our chain and close in on the last single. Now here it's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to do 10 singles because the edge is smaller. We're going to do only 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to skip one, two, three, four on our fifth one. So the edge will do only seven singles because it's, it's thinner, right? It's not as wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain five, okay? And I'll see when we get here. We need to close it right at the edge here on the single, okay? Okay, so I'm at the edge, and I can see already that I have to jump. So I did one, two, three, four. I jumped one, five, six, and I'm right in the corner of the single, the first single from the corner, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do on the single, right on top of the lining here of the row, okay? And now we're going to proceed with the 10 singles all the way down to the end. And we're going to do the same thing in all four corners. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, you guys, I pretty much reached the end. I'm going to come in where I started my single with a slip stitch, and I'm going to cut my thread. And I'm going to come in with lime green just decided that at the last minute I was going to do the off-white and then I decided I'll do the off-white uh, the row after the green why not right gotta play with colors it's the only way you're gonna discover the beauty of the patterns by playing with colors okay so into my lime green so slip stitch knot we're gonna start
Okay, so in the corners only, okay, on the four corners, we're going to work 12 double crochets. But all the way around, we'll be working 10 double crochets inside of these loops. Okay, so it's just an increase here on the corners, so it can spread enough because it pulls too much on corners. So I have two, three, four. I'm going to do 12. I've done my 12 double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have the 10 singles here, so I'm going to skip one, two. I'm coming into the third one with single, two singles, three singles, four singles. No, I'm going to skip more. I have to work the pattern, right? Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. I'm going to come in my fourth one because this is 12 in the corner. The other ones will be different, I think. Three, four, one, two, three, four and five singles. So we're going to skip the last two. Now on the sides here, we're doing 10 double crochets only. Only the sides, the corner ones, the four corners are the only time that we're doing 12 double crochets. Okay. Two, four, five, I'm going to do 10. So we have the 10 double crochet. One, two, three, on my fourth one, single, two single, three single, four single, and five single, okay? And then again, 10 double crochets. So we're going to do this repeatedly like this all the way around. Don't forget your corners are 12 double crochet, all four corners. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three on the fourth one. One, two, three, four, and five. And we go directly inside our loop and do 10 double crochets again. Okay. So here is 12. This corner will be 12 and the other two corners. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we got to the corner and we did a 12. Now, here on the edge, we only have seven singles, right? So we're only going to skip one. And we're going to come into the second and do our five singles. Two, three, four, and five. And proceed with the ten double crochets. Just the same as we did on the side. So now we've done the 10. Again, we skip only the first one and go into the second and do our five. So then the other edge is the same way and the sides. We go into our fourth single because we have 10 singles. Here on the edges, we have only seven singles, right? So I'm going to continue mine and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so I pretty much finished doing all of the spaces. 
I'm coming in with my off-white. So if I'm on my side, I'm going to go here on just before the last one and do single. I'm going to do triple back post. One chain. So this is going to be all triples coming from back post. Trying to hide my thread here. Good heavens. One chain, triple, one chain. So we're going to do this 12, 10. You're supposed to have 10 triples at the end. One chain. Come from the back to the front to the back and do your triple crochet. So I've done my 10 triples. I'm going to skip one, two. I'm coming on the third space, single, and next space, single. And then I'm going to restart again my triples. This is going to be like this all the way around. And then I'm cutting my thread. So triple, one chain, space, triple, one chain. Now I use a lot of this edge in a lot of patterns because I think it is gorgeous and it gives it a beautiful, um, very charming style to the pattern. Okay, so we're going to continue like that all the way around until here. So you know you'll have to skip one, two on your third. So you're going to end up with two uh, singles exactly like we did here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I did my single because we had started with one. So it leaves me the two singles. I'm going to come directly into the first space with a single, two singles. So on this first and on the last, we don't do peacocks, we do two singles on them. And then I'm coming into the next space and I'm doing one, two, three, single. Next space, single, one, two, three, chain. Single. Also, I want to remind you when we did a triple on the corners, it has to be uh, 12 uh, triples, right? One, two, three, single. And on the middle one here, so we do three singles on one side and three singles on the other. One, two, three, four, five. Peacock, next space. One, two, three. Next space, one, two, three. Next space, one, two, three. And then we have the last space, we're doing two singles. This is just for the pattern not to uh, stretch out. Coming directly between the two singles with a single directly into the first space again on the next motive, 
two singles and then one oops into the next one single one two three Just check here. One, two, three. Now, because we have 12 on the corner, so we're still going to skip here. We're going to do one, two, three, four picots, and then do your five chain. One, two, three, four picots, and then your two singles at the end. That's only for the corners, right? Because we have 12 triples. Here on the sides, we only have 10. Okay, so three picots on one side, chain five. Next base single, three chain. So very simple, nothing to it. Now, if you find that maybe it's prettier to go with the whatever color you used here, you can and use your purple. I'm still going to see if I'm going to keep the picots this color or maybe come into the purple or maybe come into the green. Okay, so I will um, come back to you once I'm done. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much ended up doing the purple. I had to put a little foil underneath here before I go through my my towel because I was gluing and well it's much easier to get aluminum foil out and to get cotton out of the towel right but anyway I've added my margaritas I've added my leaves I will leave the links below in the description box if you want to create the same flowers and same leaves and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video and share. It's very important to help grow this, uh, the channel. And I thank you once again. So I'm pretty much done with this. Stay tuned for uh, another tutorial that it will be, uh, in case you want to create sets, will be smaller than this. So the stitches or the rows are different in order to be smaller, but the same um uh, switch of colors okay so you might want to stay tuned for that if you're not subscribed please do so and hit that bell notification it's all free you don't pay for anything of course and i will see you in the next tutorial i will have a little video display at the end with it on top of my table and a few pictures take care everyone bye bye